What's good, YouTube? I got another rare build for y'all. A temple pushing point. Well, hit that like button and hit that sub button. Hit them post notice too. We're going to get right into it. We're going to go 6 5 with this build. You want to take your weight all the way down to minimum and your wingspan 6 10. So max out the speed, max out the acceleration. Your stamina, we're going to go 96. And, bro, we're going to hit the playmaking first, bro. Now we're going to hit the shooting first. So you want to go 82 on the three ball. Your midi, you're going to want to go 79. So that's giving you 24 shooting badges. And, bro, you really going to be able to shoot consistently with 24, especially if you add more shooting badges from college. But you really don't even got to do that, bro, for real, for real. This is what we're going to rock out with, though, right here. And we're going to go to the playmaking. So you see you got the, the high zone hunter silver. You got blinder silver. And you do got that limitless spot up and everything, bro. You getting all your badges. They just not all on Golden Hall of Fame and everything. But you still going to be able to shoot consistently with this. All you got to do is stack them up and everything. But I'm going to show you all exactly how to set up the badges. And your ball handle on this build, you're going to want to max that out. You get an 87, that's gonna give you gold unpluckable. You got gold handles for days and hyperdrive. And don't forget, you still got that ankle breaker gold up there too. So that's definitely some heat. And we're gonna put up the pass accuracy. You wanna go 73 on this one. So that's gonna give you 27 playmaking badges. And that's really all you need, bruh. You could, depending on everything you're trying to throw on, you definitely could go for more playmaking badges, bro. Cause it's it's like even if you got 40 playmaking badges, you, it's it's gonna be another badge you look at, bro. You gonna see, man, if I could throw this on silver, bro, for real, for real. But this we gonna rock out with right here. We gonna go to the defense. My fault, I'm burping and anything. We gonna go uh to the perimeter. You wanna go 75. Yeah, still, we still gonna put that up at 96, though. Still gonna put that at 96, so you're getting the Hall of Fame Interceptor, Hall of Fame Pickpocket, and, bruh, I know they saying the steel patch, bruh, Pickpocket don't work on Hall of Fame, but Interceptor do on Hall of Fame, so it's like, bruh, it, you really just got a choice. Is you gonna go 90 on your steel to get that Hall of Fame Interceptor? Because Hall of Fame Interceptor is way overpowered, bruh, like, it's, it's not, it hasn't changed at all. <laughs> for real, for real. You just gotta have it on Hall of Fame, not gold. I know a lot of people remaking bills and everything with a uh, lower steel rating because they think the steel rating don't work, bro. You tripping, bro. <laughs> like, yo, you gotta go at least 90, bro, on that steel rating. The only thing about it is, why not go 96 if you already going 90? You feel me? And yeah, uh, having a higher steel rating is going to enhance your Hall of Fame Interceptor. So your Hall of Fame Interceptor is going to be more overpowered with a 96 steel rating versus just having a Hall of Fame Interceptor with a 90 steel rating, bro. Those six extra points is going to be, bro, yo, that's really going to be the difference between just getting an extra steal or two every game, bro, for real, for real. But... Go 96, bro. <laughs> it's, it's definitely... If you... You could go 90. You could go 90. But, bro, it's, it's really just not much of a reason not to go 96. Unless you're just trying to get a couple more badges on another build and anything. I definitely understand that. You feel me? But we're going to go to the block rate. And you want to put that up at 65. So putting it at 65, that's going to give you the silver paint intimidation badge. I mean, not paint intimidation. The intimidator badge. And your defensive rebound, you're going to max that out and go 75 on your offensive rebound. So you're not going to max that out, but take one from it. And you're getting 24 defensive badges. So you got 24, 27, and 24. Really a fire spread, bruh. And really exactly what your build is supposed to be, bruh. But we're going to hit the, uh, the finishing now. And we're going to put the driving dunk, bruh. So... 
This build, we didn't go for the, the contact dunks, but we went for the best dunk packages, bruh. And with this build, bruh, the dunk package that we exactly went for on this one was the front clutches. The front clutches, you unlock it at 75 driving dunk, and it's really one of the best dunk packages in the game, bruh. Like, if, if you wanna know more of the best dunk packages and everything to throw on, you definitely could check the uh, my recent uploads and everything if you haven't seen that video already, bro. But I'm really letting y'all know all the dunk packages, the throwing the safe dunk packages. I got the flashies coming soon for y'all, but the safest dunk packages to to get to to get the bucket, bro, and not get blocked. That's that's really what we was going for and everything. And you just gotta check that out, bro. But I'm letting y'all know right now, you want to put on the front clutches on this build. Front clutches off one, not off two. But this is what we're going to rock out with right here. And with it, bro, with a 70, with a 75 driving dunk, you will dunk consistently, bro. Yo, <laughs> all me, bro. Yo, I got a 5'11 point guard, bro. I just put the 70 driving dunk on him. Like, I was already playing with him, but I just didn't put my vc into the finishing yet bruh i just put the vc into the finishing bruh just put my driving dunk up to 70 and with a 511 point guard with a 99 three ball bruh <laughs> like i'm just coming down punching like and I'm, I'm finishing in traffic and i'm not even gonna hold you like my driving layup because yo, yo somebody somebody had uh set up under one of the videos that one of the bills didn't have a layup rating, bro. Yo, I promise y'all, my point guard has 50 layup. My 5'11 point guard has 50 layup, bro. And, and I'm I'm making layups, bro. Whenever, whenever it don't let me dunk it, like if I'm if if I get a fast break pass, you know, how some of the catch animations a little bit slower and everything to where. You might you might catch it, take a couple steps, and you almost up under the rim. You gotta go with like almost a standing layup, bruh. With a 50 layup, 50, bruh. Not not even a 65, nothing like that, bruh. 50 layup. My 5'11 point guard can make those layups, bruh. Not recommending it to you. You don't want to do that contested or nothing like that. It was on a fast break, but bruh, just just letting y'all know. I bruh, yo, I know about all these numbers. <laughs> I, bro, I make multiple bills literally just to test the numbers. And yesterday, bro, I seen how much better a 70 driving dunk is than a 50 driving dunk. With no badges, bro, because I forgot to put on my posterizer bronze on the bill before I went into the wreck, bro. But just had to explain that right quick. I know some, I know some people might be, you feel me, a little hesitant to not go for the contact dunks. But, bro, yo, if you don't attack the paint consistently like that bro you really just don't need to put that much in the finishing bro like i'm seeing that more bro because my six five my six five got elite contact dunks. my main build the first one i made elite contact dunks the shooting is great and everything i would yeah, yeah, yeah I, got, I got good shooting on that build i make it look great and everything but bro yo on my six five i got elite contact dunks and I never go to the rack, bro. Like y'all could, y'all could probably count on one hand how many dunks y'all see. Y'all see me? Uh, <laughs> how many times y'all see me dunk it in the videos that that I drop and anything, bro? And bro, I'm just a shooter. <laughs> like I could attack the rim at will, but threes is worth three, bro. Like, like what are we talking about? You feel me? Like that's just my play style. I do not go to the rim. Like when when my point guard yelling for somebody to cut bro i'm weaving around at the three-point line bro like because you, you're not talking to me bro like i i shoot threes you feel me like i can cut i will cut you feel me if i need to but bro like this like that's just what i do i shoot threes and with this build bro you're gonna be able to shoot threes you're gonna be able to push the point and defend bro at a high rate even though even though we had to uh, go a little bit low on the perimeter rating on this build, with that bronze clamps, bro, I promise you, bro, you still can clamp up. And I'm gonna show you exactly what defensive badge throw 
the the lawn and everything, bro. You're going to put on your posterizer, your limitless takeoff, slithery, and you could you could put that last point on Lob City on this one. Onto your shooter. I'm gonna get through these quick. We gonna go blinders, lucky seven, and bro, yo, with with this shooting rating, these is these are the badges that you need to have on, bro. So the catch and shoot, that's if you really catch and shoot her. If if you if you push in a point though, you're not going to you're not going to put that on because you're just not going to see much of a return from it. But green machine, bruh, you do want to put that on silver on this build. And we probably going to go with a uh, if if you sauce up off dribble, bruh, I definitely would throw on the rhythm shooter. Hold on, we could take the green machine down to bronze. Bronze green machine it is still fire, bruh. And we're gonna put on a rhythm shooter and go dead eye bronze. You good right there, bruh. Just like this, bruh, you will shoot consistently. You got the hot zone hunter. And again, bruh, another thing I'm testing out is hot zone hunter, bruh. <laughs> Yo, bruh, I'm running with it on bronze on some builds, bruh. And it, I'm still shooting great, bruh. <laughs> like, like you really just might not need that badge, but I'm gonna let y'all know the exacts real soon. You wanna put on bullet passer, hyperdrive, quick first step, stop and go, unpluckable, handles for days. And you could probably run with either an ankle breaker or a space creator. You go with the silver ankle breaker if you want, or I probably will go with Space Creator, and then you can add Special Delivery on Bronze on that too. But for your defensive badges, bruh, this is exactly how you want to set it up, bruh. And I'm seeing, bruh, yo, on my rebuilds, bruh, I, bruh, yo, I promise you, I do not have a problem guarding the, the screen cheese, bruh. The, the left, right, I don't have a problem with it at all. And this is how I got my badges set up. You want to put your minutes on. Pickpocket, we gonna go Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't got Rim Protector on my guard though. Wait, yeah, 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 for a fact, I actually do rock Rim Protector, but at the same time, just on just on certain builds, yeah. But this one, we gonna go with the clamps. Clamps and the menace, bruh. You definitely wanna have. You definitely wanna have menace on. I know a lot of people forgetting to put menace on. Definitely a great badge, bro. But pick dodger, you want to have that on silver, bro, on this build. And you don't need to have it on. Oh, let me throw in the uh, interceptor. But you don't need to have pick dodger on silver. You could have it on bronze, bro. But I do see it work a lot better on silver. And again, bro, yo, this is coming from somebody that's telling you, bro. Like, yo, I don't have a problem guarding the left, right G's, bro. Like, <laughs> like y'all might have heard me say something about it a couple times, but honestly, bruh, I learned how to how to guard it, and yeah, it's it's crazy, bruh. Like 2K really shouldn't have shouldn't have that in the game like that, bruh, and anything. But at the same time, it it is it is stoppable, bruh. Yo, it's it's overpowered, but it is stoppable. We gonna put the uh, tireless defender on too, though. And you could even throw like a ball stripper on, like hustler, bruh. Um, yeah, I'm testing that badge out too. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. It's like it seemed, it seemed like it seemed like it's working super good on bronze, but then some games it seemed like it's not. And then like when I go gold and Hall of Fame and everything, it just I don't, I don't know if I see a consistent difference in anything, you feel me? But that's how we're going to set up all the defensive badges. You got 24 of them things, though, bruh. So you could really do a lot with the way you set it up, you feel me? Add on a rebound chaser, rim protector, all that. But I'm going to hit y'all on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.